In this video, we will learn about scoped services in ASP.NET Core web application. Scoped services can be registered by using add scoped method. A new instance of the service will be created for new HTTP request. If you are using an instance multiple times inside one HTTP request, then that instance will be saved. Let's see how can we uh, use scoped services in our application. Since we are using the same application that we have created in this ASP.NET Core video series, in our previous video, we have discussed about Singleton service in ASP.NET Core application. Now, go to startup class. Here, instead of this add singleton method, let's use add scoped method. That's it. Save and run this application. Open a postman. Here, change the product name. Let's say pen. Then click the send button here. Here we have the output. Let's add one more data here. Let's say pen one. Then click the send button here. This time we have the same ID, but name data is replaced with this uh, new name. Okay, because new instance of the service will be created for each HTTP request. So the instance we are using in one HTTP request that will not be shared with new HTTP request. If the instance will not be shared, then the previous data will be lost. That's why we are having current data here. Thanks for watching this video.